friends, hello everyone. A very popular question is how to teach a dog to stay at home. Let's start this video hard. If you walk for 15 minutes in the morning and your dog sits at home from 8 am to 8 pm, then I think that you are not a very kind owner and you need to think and look for someone who can give your dog a little more time. Because under such a regime, it is not possible to leave the dog. And no matter what you do, your dog will suffer at home and will destroy your house and there will be a variety of behavioral consequences. I got it. In order for the dog to stay at home by itself, we must develop a system where our dog's life is divided into two phases. The first is the activity phase, and the second is the rest phase. That is, in the active phase, your dog should be active, no matter how ridiculous it sounds. It must walk, it must exercise, it must eat, it must socialize, it must exercise its body and its brain. And in the rest phase, your dog needs to rest. And when a puppy or an adult dog, it does not matter, enters our house, we must show this dog how these phases occur. If you have had children, you must remember how you put the baby to bed. When he wakes up, everyone indulges and entertains him, and when he's already tired and starts to act up, you quietly leave him in the crib and also quietly leave. The same thing happens with the dog. When it is in the active phase, we walk, 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 exercise, walk. And when this is the rest phase, we leave the dog alone and gradually move away from it. You need to understand that in order for a dog to learn to stay in the house on its own, it must be taught to stay on its own when someone else is at home. For example, you're in the living room and your dog is in the hallway or in another room. You need to let it know that there are periods of time when it needs to rest, when it is tired, and you need to leave it alone so that it gets used to it. If you bind it too strongly to yourself, if from its very childhood you allow it to sleep only in your arms, only somewhere at your feet, it never lets you go, follows you even when you go to the toilet, and then a certain moment comes and you need to leave the dog at home and you leave. Of course, for the dog this is a very big stress. Therefore, in order to prevent such situations from happening, you must teach the dog from the first days that there are such moments when your dog must remain on its own. That is, you're in the kitchen and it is in the living room. You're in the living room and it is in the bedroom. You're in the bedroom and it is in the hallway. And there is a well-equipped place for it rest. There is everything for this so that it is comfortable and there it stays. Cage training is pretty much the same. The next moment is the activity phase. Unfortunately, I often see people taking dogs out just for the toilet. In the morning, when we need to get ready for the work, we took the dog out, it did its business there for 10 seconds, and that's it. We went home and closed the doors. Of course the dog will destroy your house. Of course it will howl. Of course it will be stressed, because now is the time for activity. There should be some activity going on right now, and you didn't allow it to happen outside because your walk was too short and not intense, and so your dog starts to do it at home. Please, focus on the quality of the walk. Walk a lot, walk in different places, practice different commands, let the dog just run somewhere, play with toys. 
lose the ball somewhere and look for it together. Load the dog's brain with some tasks. Do this for at least an hour. If you organize a good walk, then of course your dog will sleep like a baby at home. Consider doing something for your dog while you're away as well. It could be some kind of puzzle. And here is Kong, a must-have. For Prime, this Kong is small, and in color it does not match the Melanois breed. Let me remind you that the color is responsible for the rigidity of the material. They differ in hardness and size. If you have a dog, I think Kong is a must-have. And when you leave for work, or live somewhere for a long time, offer your dog some kind of task, some kind of occupation that it must complete. Leave it a Kong, leave it some lasting treat, leave it some puzzle or some interesting toy so that the dog can have an association. When you leave, it has a great opportunity to do some interesting exercise. If a dog chews on a Kong, leaks out the paint you put in there, it won't chew on your couch or your shoes. In the first stages, when you first plan to leave your puppy, I advise you to do it for a short amount of time. That is, if it is abrupt, you were constantly with him, and then once you went to work, this can be a very stressful situation. Therefore, you need to train your dog to be alone gradually. You leave the dog alone literally for a minute, return it, that's it, there is no catastrophe. Next time, go a little longer then a little less, a little longer, a little less. So that the dog understands that if the owner leaves, then he will definitely return. It's just a matter of time. Well, the most important thing is that the dog should take the opportunity to rest. Because when the owner returns, the activity phase will come again. And again we will run, play, do something. And while the owner is gone, the dog has the opportunity to rest gain strength and accumulate new energy for its next phase of activity. Another tip. When you leave your home and when you return, the emotional background needs to be lowered. You don't need to strongly say goodbye to your dog. You don't need to do some kind of ceremony where you ask it forgiveness for living for a long time. Kiss it, excite it. Now, make it look like it doesn't mean anything. Make it something like, yes, I'll be right back. What are you worried about? And when you come back, pretend like you never left. Let's summarize. In order for your dog to stay at home by itself, you need to divide the day into two phases, the activity phase and the rest phase. Teach your dog to rest in a cage or in a place that belongs to it. Make your walks quality. Walk a lot, walk long. Saturate them with games, workouts, and different places and adventures. When you leave your house, you leave food or something interesting for the dog. When you leave the house, act like nothing is happening. And when you come back, pretend like you didn't go anywhere at all. Thank you, all the best.